Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Martigris, or Marty, as, you know, the cool kids call him these days. And that's all I will be calling him is Marty, because I'm not even sure I pronounced the other name correctly. And, of course, we're against Dragon. Oh, okay. Alright. For those of you who don't know Dragon, he's just a, a huge dual main, a huge, huge, um... I'm a main, a huge PvE main. The games are pretty... The games are pretty boring, usually, I would say. There's no way he is still talking, like, ten seconds later, actually. <laughs> well, anyways, we're against the GM player, so that's pretty good for comparison's sake and all that. Um, We'll just get beads in case he catches me. Um, Beads, claw shard, yep. Yeah. I probably should have left the base sooner so I could put my bushes down. So since I didn't leave the base sooner to put bushes down and initially because it has such a long cooldown. That's why you'd like to put it down at the very beginning. I'm just going to put two points in my one for better wave clear. Maybe that's just the better strat to do in general. I don't know. I've only played this god once. This is my second game. There's a massive dual patch if you didn't know. Uh, a little bit implied by given the fact that um, I can now play the new god in duel. So that's cool. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, basically the biggest thing about the ooh, about the patch so far is just that they uh, they globally nerfed healing. Basically, that that's by far the biggest deal. Is he really just like walking away? He's just gonna lose that gold. Okay, he went to his blue, I guess. Is interesting. Hopefully we get this. I'm just gonna wing shard, I think. Honestly, I find wing shard like sometimes it's super clutch, but like there are so many situations where I find myself like wing sharding and they just kind of walk away, you know, and I don't end up doing anything with it anyways, so not really sweating that too hard. He should be able to out-secure me here with his two, but hopefully we don't let that happen. You know, I didn't even get it low enough to begin with, so. Alright, we're gonna clear the wave here. But yeah, I, I've only played this god once, maybe twice. Uh, and I, and if, it, if it is two times, then the other time was forever ago. So I am by no means a Marty main. I do not know 100% what I'm supposed to do. But, well, I guess we're gonna learn here together a bit. Alright, I ended up switching my abilities to quick cast so I could see them. On, in the first game that I played. And I think I'm going to switch him back. I think I'm used to it now. At least to a certain degree. I think I'm used to the two fully. Maybe I'll miss the, uh, the, the one because it is a bit weird on the targeting. We're going to back up here. Buy ourselves a Dominance. Dominance didn't get nerfed in this patch, did it? Not that I can see. Uh, hold on. Let me... Oh. Why is my auto walk not working? There we go. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Actually, there was something I wanted to do. I'll, I'll edit this part of the video out for you guys, but I need to pause really quickly. One moment. And we are back. Okay, sorry. I had to pause for a moment there. And I, I kind of like just thought of the idea the other day, which is kind of embarrassing if we're being honest, because it's like such a basic concept. But I was like, dude, I hate when I like forget to do something, like I need to make a phone call or something of that nature, and I forget to do it, and then like I feel so unprofessional pausing during the videos. And it's still, you know, arguably a little unprofessional, but still, uh, the point is, is like I can still pause and just edit it out. It takes two seconds to edit it out. No big deal, so... Here we are. Got my stuff that I need to take care of. Taken care of. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> so, anyways, the early game here is going to be incredibly boring. I, I don't know. I think, generally speaking, you guys enjoy these types of videos. So that's why, you know, I like getting them. Like, these types being, like, competitive games. Uh, even though competitive games are, well, when I say competitive, I mean like I'm against a GM player on a, their main god, right? So, you know, it should be competitive, right? 
But uh, a lot of the times the competitive games are actually boring because it involves a lot of farming, a lot of people playing very safe. But I think you guys enjoy, at least like like the farming is worth it. I guess you guys like the 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 choices, the decision making people have to make when farming the map, and then when do you fight, when you don't fight, stuff like that. So. Yeah, I should have used my one sooner. Like, honestly, I don't think I can out-secure her, even if I play it 100% correctly. But I didn't play it correctly, so who knows. Boom, boom, boom. I haven't explained much of what this guy does to you guys. I mean, I've done a little bit of a bad job as far as that goes. But if we're being honest, I don't fully understand what he does. He has a stacking passive. He has a stacking passive. His one slows and his wave clear. It's the little acid rain that you're seeing. His his auto attacks have a dot on them, which I find interesting. If you haven't noticed already. His three is a bush, which basically acts as a bush from League of Legends. You can back in it and stuff. If you attack, you're revealed. If they attack you, you're revealed, etc. You get movement speed in the bush, and you get movement speed when you exit the bush, I'm pretty sure. And then his ult is kind of like just basically like Kamazot's ult and, and on her ult if they were put together, you know? Like your Kamazot's swooping and you're on her pelton, except not with spears. So yeah, it's just another immunity ult, you know, you go up in the air like Freya, like Kamazots, and then you rain down hell. And like I said, he has a stacking passive that gives him attack speed. I'll hold up this screen just for a moment, so that way for the people who don't want to actually go look up the god, but are curious, you can pause in this screen, see what uh, stuff is happening here. I do not know if my ult is important to level early, or if I should be leveling my two first, or what have you. I think the one is the wave clear, so... I don't know, I'm not a professional, but here we are, trying our best anyways. I do like having the cooldown from Berserk- or from, I almost said Berserkers, from a uh, breastplate that's going to be huge for us. We are a hunter versus a high mobility defense warrior. So, what that means is... The early game is going to be super boring, where we just kind of do little stupid stuff like that, and then he runs away from me. You know, pretty standard stuff. Ooh, he almost got that too. That would have been slick by him. That would have been slick nasty, man. But yeah, I'm also just not a super great hunter player to begin with, so I don't always know the perfect times to pressure and when not to pressure, but I will assure you I will be trying my absolute hardest to win this game. He did, like, no damage to me there. Mm, this red buff is spawning. Hmm. Let's put a bush here. You get some movement speed after you exit the bush. So when if you space out the... Like, if you put all the bushes together, you're, like, permanently invisible, right? That's awesome. Like, they're out a long distance. But you don't get to abuse the fact that you get movement speed when you're out of it. So... You know, give and take. I don't think we're gonna get this one either. Oh, he actually missed time to spin. We could have got him there, unfort. But yeah, his two is basically just like a little stinger that roots them. I don't know if I even mentioned the two. But if I if I auto attack him, see as you can see there, if I auto attack him while he has it on him, it blows up, does AoE damage. As you can see, since I shot it and it didn't, like, it doesn't hit minions. Like or it does, but it doesn't stop on minions. I should say, it hits minions if you aim it, you know, to hit minions. But it doesn't stop on them. See, there's my little circle back there. It's like a little Chernabog circle. You gotta do something to proc it, basically. You know, you gotta use your ability in it, just like Chernabog. Which, I mean, if you don't play Chernabog, that's fine. I, I don't play Chernabog either, but I still understand how it works, you know. You put your thing down, you put your other thing down, and hope it works. Perfect for 
I don't know what second relic I want just yet. Yeah, probably gonna go towards horrific. But we'll see. Oof, that's a little rough. Or at least it could be rough. I don't know how much pressure he has here. I don't know after you get basic attack damage off of that thing. I'm gonna go up here, take a breather, get some cooldowns back, and clear the wave, because I don't want him to get these minions under tower, because that will remove back door protections, and we do not want that. He's trying to auto attack this so bad. I don't think he could be able to. Okay, he didn't stun my back. Interesting. Interesting. I guess he just wants the tower. Not stopping my back does get in the tower, to be fair. I mean, it's pretty standard dragon gameplay, if we're being honest. Also, I don't know if that item he uh, purchased is like super OP or not. I haven't really looked at it. It's a new item, so something tells me just off of that. You know, new items gotta be broken, but... Let's see. After healing yourself, an ally god with an ability, 10% attack speed, stacking three times. So, sh does she get multiple stacks off the same ability? Meaning, like, he gets those stats three times just by pressing one? If that's the case, then yeah, that's probably pretty strong. <laughs> and I, I hope that's not the case, though. I, I can't contest. I legitimately can't. Like, I'm pretty sure his ult is up before mine, and I don't have beads this time, so... I legitimately do not think there's anything I can do about that one. I'm gonna go sprint. I was gonna go horrific, but honestly, I think a lot of the times when I horrific him, he's simply just gonna walk away. I don't think it's gonna do that much. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. If I lose this game, I'm gonna be super salty, man. I swear, I, I played against Dragon like 50 times and I only ever lose when I'm on stream doing a god request or recording a video for YouTube that's like a bad character. I literally never lose to this guy on decent characters, ever. Clear that wave. Oh, I was hoping that would be up, not gonna lie. I was hoping that would spawn. It did not. He can definitely go for Bull Demon here. I really hope he doesn't, but he certainly can. He did go Toxic Blade, which is interesting, because I, I guess he thought I was going to go Aussie, but... I think this character does have some built-in lifesteal, but it's, like, super minimal. I, I don't think it's that much, but I could be wrong about that. Who knows? Right, we're gonna back here because he kind of just got both of our relics and we took all of our HP looks like he's gonna go for the red buff which is good for him honestly this is really rough me not knowing oh he's not getting the red it's, it doesn't appear to be up I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that one. He kind of just ate my root and let me pelt him in the face. Also, I have an XC and I have and I have a uh, power potion. That power potion came in clutch there a little bit, you know. My ult's going to come back sooner because I had CDR. And uh, I did more damage, obviously. Alright, we're gonna 
back here. Oh, I can't pick up this red buff just yet. Oh, that's unlucky. Alright, we're gonna back here. Hopefully he doesn't hear us. Alright, we're backing in the bush so he didn't even know. He didn't even know? Okay. Um, good chance we'll get Boomerang. Yeah, we're not. Boomerang got buffed, by the way. Oh, and just just be clear, I don't know what I've said in this video, what I haven't said, if we're being honest, because I recorded the game before this, but it actually didn't take because my microphone disconnected. It was actually a decent game versus a hell, but my microphone disconnected, so... Oh. How long does my two stay on him? Because I did use it on him. It persists for three seconds. My two being the little thing that sits on him and roots him in the end. If I proc it with apparently any ability. My one hits it, it blows up. If my autos hit it, if my ult hits it, it all blows up. Just kind of like a Morgan thingy. But it didn't blow up there. It probably fell off. Sorry, I was, I was like, where is he? All right, weird position. We don't have our ults. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, dude. Like, I want to just, I want to just look at that fight and be like, okay, Marty's broken, and maybe he is. Maybe he is, man. I, you know. Maybe, maybe my title will say he's broken. Maybe I'll have made up my mind by then. But um. Like, I don't know, because part of me is like, <sighs> he's not the tankiest warrior ever. He only has one defense item, pretty standard for duel, but he's not the tankiest person in the world, for one. And I am a, a hunter with five items, five items, a red buff, a red buff and a power potion. So it's like, I'm supposed to do a lot of damage, you know, like I, I am a late game hunter at the end of the day. Oh my god. No spell shall save you now. Alright, I mean, that's just horrific. Yeah, you know, it could have been worse. Um, I think I'm just gonna go into more crit, why not? But, um, anyways, I, like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I discussed all the changes or not, because I, I feel like I've done a little bit of a bad job with this video, because I have to try hard, you know? Like, I'm against a PvE main. I'm not saying he only PvEs, I'm just saying when in doubt, PvE out for Dragon, so I don't want to pretend like he never fights. He's fought this game. But I'm against a tryhard, known pve -er. But I, as a character, I never play. I, I'm like, I'm distracted. I'm tryharding, man. I'm trying my best. Oh, I should be placing bushes. I don't have my ult, and he does. Bro, I am playing way too scared of this guy. I, I like. I'm realizing now that I can absolutely own him. Like, I kind of chalked up the other fights to him misplaying, and he did misplay. I'm not trying to say he didn't, but. You know, alright. This thing you got buffed, attack speed. Okay. My power potion's about to fall off, so yeah. Um, oh, I just noticed they put a lock. When you can't buy any more consumables because you have your consum your consumables are full, they put a lock on them now. That's pretty cool. Because I would just like forget that I had a power potion in my hand and try to pop a bunch of extra health potions or just something stupid like that and end up just popping them in the fountain. Like, I, I mean, not pop them. I, I would want to hold them and then I'd end up popping them in the fountain. So I mean to say... just gonna go on Titan if he's gonna circle around like that. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that's just late game with crit, huh? Oh, he doesn't even have crits. How does he do that much damage? I mean, I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's let's take a moment and let's be real for a second. He has six items and I'm a warrior, right? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Although this item right here, I, I might have to do a video on this item because 
I can't tell if this is just a six slot Ama shredding me to death or if that was, you know, had something to do with this. Because if you look at it, 10% attack speed. Oof. Wait, does he get this? He does. He does get that. Oof. And his Phoenix respawns. Oof. Uh, getting a little cocky here. Clearly. Place Ward here and back. Okay, we gotta go back to try harding. I did kind of just like I, I I assume since it took him so long to come back that he started his back and he was backing, right? Because it took him forever to turn around, I feel like, but turns out that taking forever was all a trap of his. Yeah, I definitely respect I, I definitely respect him a little too much. This character does a billion damage. Plus also, you know, if we're discounting Marty a little bit, I'm not trying to say he's not broken because this character does too much damage. Plainly put, he just does too much damage. But that being said, crit, uh, crit is also just super good right now, man. Like they, they just buffed both of the crit items I purchased. But keep in mind, I was buying these crit items before they even buffed them. Alright, okay, I'll be honest. I wasn't buying this one as much, but I was buying the boomerang a lot more. And they, they, they buffed boomerang and made it super cheap, basically. I'm going to spam laughing. Sorry, I have to. Anybody that, like, every single time I face this guy, he never laughs unless he wins. And like I said, I've played him... I'm not exaggerating, guys. I've played against him about 50 times. He's beat me, like, three times, all on God Request and bad matchups. Things like Vulcan against a Fenrir. Like, that's a terrible matchup, right? And he never laughs normally when he gets stomped. But every single time I, every single time he beats me in a matchup that's obviously incredibly easy for him, he laughs, spams me. So, well, whatever, man. But uh, we are Diamond 1. I'm sure I'll, I'll forget to uh, slash, you know, a, you know, accidentally forget. Update the title. The title will probably say Masters or GM. But we are a Masters or GM player. This is Masters GM MMR. We've only played two games so far. Oh, wait, no. This thing hasn't updated. We played three games. But anyways, normally this is the part of the video where I show you guys the character. And, or I show you guys the itemization I would build on the character. If we're being real, I don't know Marty that well. So I'm just going to simply put the build I put on there rather quickly. Let's see. Um, we went boom, 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 boom. We went, what was third? Kins. And then we throw on an XE. I'm just going to throw my build here. And then I'm going to give you guys some recommended items that I haven't tried yet. Oh yeah, I think we went, I think we went Boomerang and then Crit, or I mean Boomerang and then XE rather, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, it honestly doesn't matter, this is based on the game, if they have a lot of prot and you need XE first, you can go XE first if you want, if you'd rather go Boomerang first, because you do have pin from the Dominance, honestly that part doesn't matter, so I'll just leave that out, and then this, this could be Demon Blade, or it could be Deathbringer, it's up to you, some honorable mentions obviously are going to be Toxic Blade, Toxic Blade for the anti-heal, although, like I said in the video, or at least I hope I said in the video, I don't know, I was distracted. They did globally nerf healing, so I don't know if this is necessary anymore. Honestly, they nerfed healing a lot, so maybe maybe we don't need anti-heal as much these days. Some items that got buffed that people are talking about, and I have yet to try, and they seem pretty crazy. Bloodforge apparently has some crazy stats right now, I'll show them to you guys right here on the screen. It just has a lot of stats, honestly. It just has a lot of stats. Of course, the the uh, passive is never going to be amazing in duel unless you're diving under a tower and you need that shield to save your life. But, um, you know, people are trying it out. Figured I'd mention it to you guys. This could be a pretty good item right now. Apparently, this thing could be good. I don't know about these items just yet. I'm going to probably make a video on all of the on all of the new items. Um, sorry, I did a terrible job of explaining it at the beginning because I was tryharding and I'm distracted and, you know, I'm just a bad YouTuber and all that stuff. But... 
over the next you know couple weeks or so i'm going to try to upload basically a gimmick or a strategy behind every new item and try my best to put out all the content for you guys so if you guys do want to subscribe to the channel and see all that stuff see my opinions i will also be streaming some of these games but i'm going to try to upload at least a video every day if not two videos every day and try to get all of the new content out there and uh, as far as the character goes, here's his passive, like I said, as far as his attack speed, he's a stacking character and he gets a little bit of lifesteal here. Uh, I'm one of those people that I just don't feel like reading this or caring, you know, so I'm not going to, but I'm showing it to you guys right now. Um, he seems overall like a very strong character. It's mainly built around his 2-1, like his 2, basically, it's pretty easy to land and it's incredibly low cooldown late game. Uh, with full cooldown, that's a 6 second cooldown right there. With 30%, which is a power pot and a breastplate, that's going to be 70 per 7 second cooldown on the 2. So the 2 is a 1.8 second root and healing reduction, and the 1 is a slow that also detonates that root. So with these two together, they're rooted for 1.8, they're slowed, and they take a billion damage for that duration against a hunter. He has an immunity frame, he has movement speed, at crazy amounts of movement speed on the 3. Bush gaming is always going to be OP, sitting in a bush waiting for people to walk into and ambush him. Overall, I think this character is incredibly sick in duel do i know if he's you know a top three god or a top five god or even a top 10 god i have no idea all i can tell you is that this god is going to be good how good i'm not sure but he's going to be good very strong does a lot of damage especially when the crit items keep getting buffed and no hunter items seem to be getting nerfed so that's a good sign hope you guys did enjoy watching the video again i will be releasing a tons tons of content on different things sorry for doing a little bit of a poor job explaining things this video but i'll try to explain the gimmicks a little bit more like for example if i do a healing character or a lifesteal character i will explain more in depth the new items for them or the nerfed old items and uh how how that character functions in a world with less healing or lifesteal as well this character isn't really affected too much by the patch the main thing that's affected he's just a new character that's the main patch and he has crit buffs all of the crit items got buffed so those are great but i will explain the other things when i play characters that you know it, it pertains to those characters i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys did enjoy watching until next time guys goodbye goodbye goodbye